Everyone, please remain seated. You are about to get a financial windfall that might transform your life if you are receiving Social Security, SSI, SSDI, or payments. You're about to receive a massive, one-time payment of $5,500. The exact amount is $5,500. Salutations and thank you for returning to Stimulus Updates. Watch this channel to stay up to date on all the newest developments about stimulus measures for the economy. I'm Ali, and I'm here today to tell you about some great news. You read it correctly, eh? Possible one-time payment of $5,500 for house support is being discussed. Everyone, this is not a practice run. Indeed, this is occurring at this very moment. All right, then, let's get down to the nitty-gritty. Allow me to begin. Who is qualified to receive this payment? Let's see. Withdrawals from Veterans Affairs, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance. SSDI, Social Security Retirement Benefits SSB, or Supplemental Security Income SS, I cannot be canceled. Afterwards, you should be proud of yourself because you are eligible for this large financial aid. For a lot of individuals who have been fighting rising housing costs and inflation, this is a huge relief. I can understand your thoughts now. Could this possibly be real? Trust me when I say it isn't. The housing problem has been impacting millions of Americans, particularly those living on fixed incomes, and this program is a part of a larger effort to address this issue. Everyone knows that home prices have been going through the roof recently. Specifically throughout the past three years, it has reportedly climbed by more than 30%, not far behind our rent prices, which have risen by double digits annually in a number of locations. Those who rely on Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, SSDI, or VIA benefits have found these increasing expenditures especially difficult to bear. Rent and mortgage payments have become too high for many recipients, forcing them to leave their neighborhoods or causing financial hardship. This is the purpose of the $5,500 payment. Its purpose is to offer a substantial assistance with housing-related costs. There are many possible uses for this money, regardless of whether you own or rent. Homeowners insurance, mortgage or rent, utilities, repairs, maintenance, property taxes, and accessibility upgrades. What makes this payment so beneficial is its flexibility, instead of seeing it. As a stopgap measure, recipients have a chance to improve their living status in the long run. I know you have a lot of questions, so I'll try to answer the most popular ones that have been showing up in the comments and on social media. A, at what point will we receive the funds? The specific date is not yet set, but we expect to begin dispersing funds somewhere in the next 60 to 90 days. To guarantee that all citizens get their payouts promptly, the government is attempting to establish a streamlined distribution mechanism. Can I get this money without applying? No application is usually necessary, which is great news. You will automatically be eligible if you are currently receiving Social Security, SSI, SSDI, or VIA benefits. The same way you get your benefits by mail or direct deposit will also be used to send the payment to you. Is this going to be an ongoing payment or a one-time charge? This is currently intended to be a one-time payment. Nevertheless, there are continuing conversations regarding possible future funding, which is contingent upon current economic circumstances and the outcomes of this first initiative. What happens to my other perks if I receive this payment? Pay attention, since this is really important. Your eligibility for other benefits will not be affected by this $5,500 payment, which is considered a unique one-time help. Your SSI, Medicaid, or SNAP benefits will not be affected by this. So. You won't have to worry about cutting off other vital funding sources if you utilize this money. Can I claim this money as a tax? This sum is not yet subject to taxation. Having said that, it's wise to discuss your individual circumstances with a tax expert. The possible effects of this payment can be discussed now. While $5,000 may not seem like much to others, it could mean everything to many. Recipients Sarah a 68-year-old Ohioan who receives Social Security benefits and I had a conversation. She assured me that with this amount, I would be able to repair my leaking roof. For a long time, I put it off since I knew I wouldn't be able to buy it with my limited budget. A crippled veteran from California named John told me that if I had $5,500, I could put in a ramp for my wheelchair and do a few other things to make my house more accessible. My life would be significantly better if it happened. Maria, a single mother whose disabled child receives supplemental security income, expressed that this amount would allow them some breathing room. If we were to pay our rent in full, we could put money down for a down payment on a modest home. These accounts emphasize the gravity of the possible consequences of this payment. 
Money isn't the only thing that matters. The capacity to live in a safe and comfortable house, along with dignity and security, is at the heart of the matter. However, I must caution you about this point. Scammers emerge like mushrooms whenever there's word of a large payout by the government. Keep your wits about you. Get in. Touch with the official Social Security Administration using their confirmed contact information if you have any questions about any correspondence you receive. What does this entail for Social Security as a whole? Let's discuss that now. SSI, SSDI, and beneficiaries get benefits. Although this $5,500 payment is a big deal in and of itself, it is also contributing to a broader discussion on whether or not these benefits are sufficient in light of the current economic situation. Regular benefits, according to many proponents, should be raised to match the increasing cost of living, particularly in the property market. Are you aware that the typical monthly benefit amount from Social Security is only around $1,700? if you are receiving Supplemental Security Income SSI. It's much cheaper, coming in at roughly $900 monthly. Many recipients are in serious financial straits because the national average for a one-bedroom apartment is more than $1,500. For the time being, that concludes our coverage of this revolutionary $5,500 lump sum. You are not required to take any action at this time if you are a beneficiary or SSI SSDI recipient. Just make sure that in the following months you Continue to receive rewards using your customary way. You can help spread the word about this video and its useful information by giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with others. To make sure you don't miss a thing about the newest developments influencing Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VIA benefits, subscribe to the channel and enable notifications.